All right, guys, our map's looking good, but we want to populate this with actual data. So let's go back and comment all this out again, or not all of it, comment that out and this out. And we need to print the country data again because I forget the names again. So let's just print country data and let's just take a closer look at this and figure out what we want to use for pop-ups basically. So I think we want to put the name. So let's start editing this. So pop up. They have, I think the eye is for italics. So this is HTML that they're rendering here. So these, the slash or these brackets, I, that means italics in HTML. So we can, since this is a string, we should just be able to do string formatting in here. So inside the I like that. So we have the opening I tag and the closing I tag. So inside there, put these curly braces. And that just means that's going to allow us to put a variable inside that string. So put that like that. And then at the end of the string, put a, a dot and say dot format. And we want to dot format um, country data. And what do we want? We're not interested in lat long. We want the, the name. All right. So let's just try that. And with any luck, we should now see the country names. Okay, so open this again, click on one, and there we go, Canada, United States, Egypt, India, Russia, Federation, looking good. Okay, so let's add, let's add another piece of information. So I'm actually gonna do, we need to put some line breaks in here. So if we want this to be displayed on the next line in HTML, we're just gonna put a line break, which is basically like a space. And then slash to close the bracket. And then in here, um, actually, no, we just leave. Actually, we don't even need, I think we just can do that. I think, I haven't done HTML like this in a while. I think that might work. Let's Google it. HTML BR. Yeah, it's literally just BR. We don't need the, the ending tag either. So you can see it produces a line break in text carriage return. So that's what we want to do. So it was close. BR. And now we just want another exact same thing as this but on the other side of that line break. And it's complaining because we're only giving it one variable, but it's like, hey, there's two, you're, you want us to put, there's two spots where you want us to put variables, but you only gave us one. So what we need to do is just copy this exact same thing, put a comma, paste it, and now what's the, what's the next thing we want to put here? So I think I was using population earlier because that is a cool piece of information. So let's just put that in there. All right, let's test it before we go any further. All right, refresh it, click it. Yep, St. Pierre and I don't know. Didn't know that was a country, but Bermuda, didn't realize Bermuda was a country. Huh. Brazil. There you go. So it seems to be working. So I actually think that's a good place to stop with these. Actually, why don't we, uh, I'll show you how we can change the color of these icons because that was something I wanted to do. Um, so let's go back to Folium's documentation here. And it's pretty simple if I remember. Yeah, you just add this. So where the icon, folium.icon. So let's try to find that piece here. So folium.icon. Pop up. Okay, so let's try this. After the pop up. 
So I think here. Let's try that. Okay. Refresh our index.html. And there you go, we have green and it's a different type of icon. So it's a different style icon. And I think I was reading in this documentation, this comes from Bootstrap. So that's why you saw all these Bootstrap um, imports in the index.html. So it's 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 giving us access to Bootstrap. See also markers.js. So there's probably, if we reread this, um, if we read the documentation closer, there's more information about these icons. So icon equals folium icon. Let's try icon cloud. So I bet there's all these different things we can put here. All right, let's try this. I'm just messing around to see what this does. Probably gonna change the style of it slightly. Oh yeah, see how there's a little cloud? <laughs> well, I think that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm still learning this too. I just found out about it a couple days ago. Um, but if you guys are interested in maybe doing something with a Twitter API or some other API, um, just let me know if, if there's enough interest, I'll, I'll take the time to make a video on how we can request from Twitter uh, data. So what I'm thinking is we could request like the top 10 or maybe the top five tweets or top, top three tweets from each country or something like that. Or maybe just the top, top 100 tweets in the world we could populate where that data is coming from because I know Twitter has uh, geolocation data in it actually not all tweets do but some tweets do uh, so we could just like out of all the geolocated tweets we could plot the top 100 or something like that um, so yeah if that's something you're interested in let me know um, you know I was thinking about doing a video with COVID-19 data because I know there's a free API with COVID data um, that should be very similar to this because I, I don't think you need to authenticate or like get a token with that. So that would be another cool project. Um, but I wanted to keep the, the REST API part of this really simple because that's that's kind of a whole different topic if we want to get into that. I, I just wanted to talk about Folium. Um, and yeah, I think other things we could do is we could change the base maps here, I think. Um, there's a way to change the map. It's actually, let's see if we can do that. So I'm just gonna copy this. And here they're using a different tile, so. So here they're just, they're like instantiating their map and they're passing a little more data. So we just need to say, we just have to give it this tiles piece here. So now we can get rid of that. I didn't really need to copy all that. All right, let's try that. So here we have like a slightly different base map too. So yeah, I mean, this is really easy and cool to use. Um, I hope that was helpful. I hope it wasn't too simple, um, but I did want to go explain step-by-step step what was going on. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.